Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel, Kidney Care Coaching. My name is Stephanie McCollum. In today's video, I wanted to discuss 13 super healthy foods that are low in potassium, sodium, and phosphorus, but also packed with other vitamins and minerals and fiber antioxidants that are super healthy for the kidney or dialysis patient. The first food I wanted to highlight is red bell pepper. With red bell pepper, it's naturally low in potassium, but it's super high, high in flavor. People typically will add this to pastas, to your rices. You can chop it up for a with dip, chop it up for a with dipping sauces for a, a nice snack. And I've even seen people that I've done this before where they'll cut it in half and bake, they'll roast the bell pepper, and it gives it even more flavor. It is super good, super healthy for you vegetable it is packed with phytochemicals and other compounds that help break down free radicals in the body before they can cause damage to our cells so cabbage is something that you can consume without fear or worry you know you can make coleslaw you can chop it up and steam it you can roast it in the oven you know maybe cut it in fourths roast it in the oven with a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper Super delicious, super healthy for you, cabbage. Vegetable, it's high in vitamin C, a good source of folate and fiber and packed with so many antioxidants and compounds that help, help your body stay healthy. You can serve it raw with dip, you can put it in a salad, steam it, boil it. People will even, I've, I've actually roasted it in the oven with olive oil and it is super, super delicious. So cauliflower, that is safe for kidney and dialysis patients to consume. It naturally lowers cholesterol and reduces inflammation in the body. Right here, I've, I have fresh garlic, but I also use powdered, minced. I advocate for patients to stay away from the garlic salt because it is too high in sodium. And this actually has a lot of flavor in it, so a little goes a long way with garlic, but garlic is another food that is okay for you to consume. You can chop it up and add it to meats, stews, pasta, rices. It's very versatile, super inexpensive. They keep for a long time if stored properly. But yeah, onions, another food, really good for you. A medium-sized apple has literally no sodium, 150 milligrams of potassium, and 10 milligrams of phosphorus. But apples have actually been known to help in the reduction of cholesterol. It prevents constipation, especially when you eat the fiber, I mean the skin of the apple. You can do applesauce, you can do baked apples, stewed apples, raw of course, they make a great snack. So apples are super good for you. Next on the list, blueberries are high in antioxidants, which are super good for the body. You can buy them fresh, frozen, even dried, add them to cereal, um, whipped topping. Lots of people enjoy them in fruit smoothies, or you can um, juice it. Some people like to juice it. Blueberries. Strawberries are so good for you. They're packed with antioxidants that gives them their red color. They're good for the body's cell structure, prevent oxidative damage, excellent source of vitamin C and magnesium, and a great source of fiber. One thing you wanna keep in mind, there are about 120 milligrams of potassium and about five or so strawberries. So I know the average person, if they go berry picking, they can eat five strawberries probably every 10 minutes. So you wanna be really cautious of when they're in season and when you're out and they're readily available. The serving size for strawberries are about five to six, you know, regular size berries. But strawberries are great for you to consume, strawberries. Cherries, Cherries have actually been shown to reduce inflammation when eaten daily. They are packed with antioxidants and phytochemicals that can protect the heart. We're looking at a half a cup serving, has about 160 milligrams of potassium. So it's you could go overboard with the potassium if you consume too many. But sticking to about a half a cup, you're gonna be fine and they can be consumed every day when in season. Berries, especially when they're wine, but not wine today. <laughs> 
We're just talking about red grapes. They contain sev several flavonoids that gives them their reddish color. They can protect against heart disease and pre prevent oxidation and reduce formation of blood clots. Grapes are super good for you. Red grapes. Here we have eggs, about seven grams of protein, 110 milligrams of sodium, 100 grams of potassium, and about 10 milligrams of phosphorus. So you can, of course, do so much with eggs. You can chop up the vegetables I've listed earlier, put them in here with a dash of cheese, make an omelet. There are so many things you can do with eggs. You can hard boil eggs are fine as a snack, deviled eggs. So many things, but eggs are super, super good for dialysis patients. So protein is going to be salmon. Clearly, I have more than three ounces of wild-caught salmon. It's going to have about 50 milligrams of sodium, 360 milligrams of potassium, and 274 milligrams of phosphorus. The thing with meat and phosphorus, we understand that you have to consume protein because protein is good for you to keep you healthy, to fight off. Um, to keep you, your, it builds your, helps build your immune system. It helps fight infections. It helps strength and endurance. So it's important that you consume meat. So almost, uh, not to say you, you need to ignore the phosphorus content of meat, but we know you have to have meat, so you're going to get some phosphorus. So here's um, some salmon I purchased from Aldi's. It's fresh, never frozen, supposedly. And I don't believe it's wild caught. I have to look. I thought it was. It may not be. But just, yeah, here's salmon. Turning out the list of super healthy foods. This is just the brand they had at Aldi's. And I thought, hey, it's a decent brand. It was about $4, I guess. And um, olive oil is going to be really good for you. Very heart healthy. And when you use the extra virgin olive oil it has higher concentration of antioxidants but of course you want to buy the best quality olive oil that you can afford of course and using olive oil instead of other oils have shown to decrease heart disease this is much better for you than let's say margarine um it's better for you it's a lot better for you than that or maybe crisco or vegetable oil this is going to be better for you and more heart healthy for you so this actually rounds out the list of all the foods that are super healthy for kidney patients to consume. And of course you want to try them out and they're readily available in most grocery stores or you know, Walmart, Target, it's gonna carry the majority of these foods. But if you wanna see more food videos like this, please leave a comment below. And I appreciate you taking the time to tune in to my channel and support my channel and what I'm trying to do. And I really appreciate it.